Good evening, everybody. I'm going to take you through a walkthrough of what I made and how I made it. As you can see, I started with a tinfoil little basket that I folded in and then added on top of that some rabbit. And you can see zucchini, kale, and onion. Now, these are the leftover rabbit legs from the rabbit harvest class that I did a couple days ago. Um, the zucchini and the kale and the onions were harvested fresh. I started the zucchini here that you're looking at from my own garden, along with the kale from my own garden. The onion, though, was from, that's down here in the bottom, was from Manabu Farms Community Lot. That's a great project. If you're not involved with the community garden around your place, you should be. It's a wonderful way to get food and a wonderful way to grow food. Each one has its own different rules, so be careful before you sign up. Some of them only give you a little tiny box to work with instead of the whole garden, and that's kind of strange. So I cut the zucchini in a, with a zigzag knife and cut the kale into a triangle pattern. And now I'm going to cut the onion up into a tiny little squares to throw on top. And then from there, what I did was I started wrapping more tinfoil around it. I used an extra piece around the bottom and to go over the sides. And once I folded that completely in, then I took a third piece and went around the opening hole in the middle. And when it was all sealed and done, I took it outside, brought it out to where they were already frying up the hot dogs and hamburgers, and uh, placed it on the grill over in the colder side of the grill, and let it cook for until way past they were done with all their food. Once they took it inside, I actually had a few seconds where I could film, and we'll do that now. You know, when this, when I first started this project and I made this little meal up here, I was so ecstatic that somebody else had started the fire. Just that I didn't have to get together and cook and put the fire together. Um, then everybody left me out here and went in with their hamburgers and their hot dogs and other things and my rabbit's still not even close to being done. At least not to my burnt liking. Ugh. And uh, I started to get a little bit uh, envious, I guess you might say, of the difference, not so much of the, I know I'm eating healthier and better taste and better for me, but the difference of flavor, not a, it's just the same flavor I've, I've been having for 19 days now. Oh boy, that smoke keeps coming up in my, anyways folks, I promised you that I would keep you in tune with everything I felt emotionally along the way, so that's why this short little video here. It looks like I've dug this open and went down to the rabbit. It looks like it is done. I'm just looking for golden brown, so I don't know why I put my rabbit in this mixture. I should have put all my vegetables in there and cooked my rabbit separately. In fact, I might try to use the last bit of these coals that are down there to pull the rabbit off out of there and separate it out. We'll show you as if I do. All right. Okay, so there's the legs on the fire getting golden brown and there's the final meal and as much as I complained about the same flavor this was actually quite unique and tasted really good cooked this way by itself thanks for watching